actually do a lot of composting. I don't make many videos on it. I don't really know what to say. It's just composting. But today I was cutting up oranges that I'm going to dry and I had some spoiled spots and you're not really supposed to give citrus to your chickens. So we're going to compost them. This composter, a friend of mine gave me like 10 years ago. She's been my mentor. She taught me everything I need to know about homesteading. And here, I'll show you what it looks like inside. I don't think I ever done this. There's my composter. And by the fall, I have some really good dirt. Let me put the lid on. Give it a couple turns. And there you go. Hi everybody, and welcome to today's video. We're gonna talk all about composting. The number one goal of my little homestead is to try to have zero waste. Now I haven't got to that point yet, but I'm really getting close to it. Composting is your friend. So, with having chickens, we really don't have that much compost because chickens eat a lot of scraps. But what about potato peelings and onion skins and citrus because chickens aren't supposed to eat any citrus? What about things like that and leaves and all kinds of things that you have on your homestead in your home? Well, we compost it. This compost is really small and it takes one year to fill it. So this is compost through the year. So this is the all winter and all fall of last year. Every spring is when I take my compost out and I use it and then I keep it for the next year. This was given to me by my, one of my closest friends. She's the one who actually got me started in homesteading all those years ago. So Cindy gave this to me and I love it. It works great. So what you do is, you've seen some videos of mine you put the food in, the compost, and you give it a couple turns. And every day or every other day, you should turn it just to keep it aerated. Now, I'm going to show you what we do with the compost. When you compost right, you don't have any scent. There's no stinky smell to it. why Cindy gave this to me is because it's quite cumbersome. Farmers call this liquid gold. It's rich in nitrogen and it's amazing. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put comp some compost on our tomatoes today. Like I said, this doesn't give me very much, but for the small amount I have here, this works out perfect for me. Waste not, want not. So all that I do is put a little scoop around the plant. In, in a matter of a day or two, you're going to see the plants turn greener. See how nice everything is growing? It's like everything is coming full circle. You take the waste of your food and you compost it. It's easy to tell where you composted and where you didn't because the ground is so black.
There's no smell whatsoever. It just smells like sure, some of you're saying, okay, that's a great video, Tessie, but I don't have a homestead, so this video is not very practical for me. But you can compost no matter where you are, even if you're in an apartment building. Why would you want to compost then? They have small little composters that you can sit at your kitchen sink, and it works the same process. It's amazing. And after a couple weeks or a couple months, all those scraps will turn into beautiful dirt that you can use for your house plants. How many times do people buy miracle Grow and things like that? If you would have compost, you really wouldn't need a whole bunch of that. It works amazing. So I want to just open up your horizons a little bit to composting and why composting can be really important no matter where you live. Instead of throwing all that food scrap into the landfill, did you know that the landfill is made up with so much food scraps and when all that food is decaying, it can cause a real trouble. Take your food scraps, eat what you can, don't waste anything. And things like the skins of fruit, eat that. But if there's things like potato peelings and things like that that you can't eat, turn it into compost. Maybe you have a place in the back of your backyard. Maybe it's your back door that you could get one of them little coolers and make yourself a compost bin. It's amazing and it's so much fun at the end of all those months to see such beautiful dirt. It turns right back into soil and it's absolutely amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just another way of reducing your waste no matter where you live. I'm all about reusing and recycling and I'm all about giving back to the earth what it gave to us and composting is one way you can do that no matter what situation you're in. If you're in an apartment or in a place where you don't have a land to put your compost on, research it, Google it. You're going to be surprised all the amazing things that people are doing even living in the cities.